Hey everybody, Mr. Buki Boo here, and today I'm very excited to share with you one of my creations that I've been working on for quite some time now. This is my take on Jabba's Palace. A few years back, LEGO came out with an official set that looked very similar to this, but it had a few design flaws that uh, many people online had commented on. It, it just it was kind of incomplete with the way it was uh, designed, which was mostly due to parts limitations and whatnot. So I took it upon myself to create my own version that I felt was a little more, uh, kind of a little more in line with what I pictured the set would be. So without further ado, I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of what I've got. This is still very much a work in progress. Um, the exterior is mostly complete at this point, but there, once I turn it around, you get to see the inside, you'll see there's still a lot of work to be done on the inside. So, uh, first things first, the set's built on two 32 by 32 base plates, and it's actually, uh, it's actually kind of broken into four quadrants. You can actually split it in half, and then you can also take the two top pieces off as well. So it splits, breaks down into four, four like equal 32 by 32 sized pieces, uh, which makes it easy to transport and uh, store or move around or whatever. Um, one of the main design trip, uh, design issues that I had with this was the uh, how to raise the palace up high enough in order to get the Rancor pit underneath. If you re remember the original Lego set that came out, it had a there was an add-on set you could buy that the palace actually sat on top of uh, the Rancor pit, but the Rancor pit itself was kind of a uh, mainly just like a skeleton. It didn't really have a much to it. It was a cool set and all, but it just didn't like I say, there just wasn't much to it. it. It just was basically four columns and a gate and uh, a door, and that was about it. Um, so what I decided to do was use a whole lot of uh, those burps, those <laughs> those dark bluish gray giant pieces that kind of look like Duplo bricks as a structure to kind of build it up and give it some strength. And then I added a ton of um, angle bricks on the outside to give it like a, some rock texturing and make it look like a sh some sheer rock cliff faces and whatnot. The next thing I did was I added a path that you can see for the minifigures to actually get to the second floor. This was one of the design flaws of the uh, original Lego set as well. There was no way for the minifigures to get up upstairs to the palace proper or to even get to the front door. I attempted to remedy that with this uh, path that you see going up and Benny standing on the top. The next thing I'm going to zoom in here so you can actually see the doorway. This is basically the same as the official set. The only thing I did here was I actually made the door slightly wider by two studs, but everything else is, is essentially the same. The door mechanism works just like the original. And there's a lock, there's like a pin here where you can lock the door in place to keep it open. And the minifigures can just go walk right inside there. Now I'm going to spin it around so you can actually see the back side, and you can kind of get a feel for what I've done here. So here's the back side. I'll give you a good overview here so you can kind of see the whole thing. Uh, what I've done is, we'll start, well, we'll start at the tower at the top. This again is basically the same. The only thing I did here is I added an extra piece in the middle. Uh, the guard uh, lookout point is still the same. This is a little communication center that I added, and then there's that storage box thing that was in the original set. The doorway, you can see here, I'm in this a little bit better so you can get some better light in here. The doorway, you can see, uh, still needs a little bit of work. There's some torches in there now and a guard, and there's actually, there's a, there's a, a little alcove where you can get into the adjoining room. Uh, I need to add some more detail in this section. It's still kind of under construction. Moving next to that, you can see the room next door. This room's empty right now. I haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna put in here, but uh, if you actually have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. One thing I will point out is the roof actually comes off so you can get inside there and play a little bit easier. Moving along, the next part that's mostly finished, there's like a little walkway here that I created so that you can actually walk from the main, the, from the entryway into the actual throne room. And the throne room is largely completed. Uh, the top here comes off just like the original set. And you can see there's Jabba hanging out with Princess Leia and Salacious Crumb. Bib Fortuna's in the back there. And uh, what I've done is this is basically the same as the original uh, official Lego set. So if you, there's actually a sliding mechanism on the outside here so I can move the dais back 
And then the trapdoor mechanism is exactly the same on the official set. So you can open that and Luke or whomever, Ula or a Gamorian guard can actually fall down into the Rancor pit, which you can see down below there. And Luke's already hanging out down there. And then there's the grating. So um, Java can actually watch as his victims get uh, eaten by the Rancor. Moving over to the side here, you can see Han Solo hanging out on the wall. There's Lando trying to figure out how they're gonna break him out. And then again, over on this side, you can see uh, Max Rebo and his band playing there and Ula's dancing. And then there's a few more guards hanging out in the room. Everyone's just having a grand old time. The next thing I'll show you is down below. So actually what I've done is I've created two cutouts. There's actually two chambers to the Rancor pit proper. And uh, you can see this is the main chamber down below. This is where Luke would fall through from the throne room up above. And then if I slide through on the side here, you can actually see there's actually, I wish I have the gate open right there. There's the gate down below and the Rancor is actually hiding in this, this little antechamber over here where he's waiting to go and, and attack whoever falls into the main part of the pit. Next to that, you'll see two uh, prison cells. And I'm actually gonna show you one of the things I did in order to increase playability. On the side here, you'll see there's this giant door that I've created. So if I open that up, you can look inside and you can see there's the door that goes to the actual Rancor lair. There's the two prison cells over there on the side. And this area over here, this is going to be the uh, the droid uh, repair shop slash torture room where R2-D2 and C-3PO are taken to get fitted with their restraining bolts when uh, when they first come to Jabba's palace. And then over here on the other side, if I move this along here, you'll see the same thing. I created another door over here, which opens up and gives you just another way to get into the actual Rancor pit to increase the playability so you can actually reach inside there with both hands and um, you know makes it easier for you to get in here and play and uh, move around. Now I'll show you also the other cool thing here is how the tops come off. So the tops just pop right off. I'm going to show you what how that works here. I have to install some pegs to actually hold them in place. I haven't done that yet. So right now they just kind of sit on top. But this will give you a good overview of how everything kind of fits together over here. So you can see from a top down view, I'm still working on the brickwork back here. I've actually started to build the interior, uh, you know, slopes and, and angles and stuff to make it look like a, a more sheer rock face inside. But that's basically how uh, the inside looks. And you can see how the structure's built up behind the scenes there. You can see those are the burps that uh, are holding kind of everything up. And then you can see the gate mechanism, which is identical to the Lego set that, uh, that the official Lego set that came out. And then the Rancor room, and then you can see kind of top down into the, the, um, the other areas of the lower level. Now I'll show you actually, so the gate, like I said, it's just like how the official set works. So you raise the gate up and then this little, this little bar goes in and it actually holds the gate in place. And you can see the gates open now. And the, the really neat thing that I'll show you, I'm going to put the tops back on here real quick, is I actually made a cutout in the upper level here. And so you can actually raise the gate while the top is in is attached. And it will actually, uh -oh, dropped a piece. So if you look here, you'll see you can actually raise the gate. It goes into that little alcove and you can still lock it in place and it sits there nice and neat. And then downstairs, you can see the Rancor can go out. You can go attack Luke or whoever else has fallen down there and they can uh, do their battle. So that is my take on Jabba's Palace, what I've done so far. And uh, I hope you enjoy this overview. I know a lot of you have been asking to see this for a while now, so I'm happy that I was able to show it to you. Pardon the camera stuff, I'm still learning how to do this YouTube thing. Thanks for bearing with me. If you like what you see, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I will be posting a video of my Cloud City uh, creation in the very near future, because I know a lot, a lot of people have been asking about that one. And uh, I'll be posting a whole lot more content too, too as well, too. So, <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys soon.